it'll be the Celtics off the tip. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. The tandem on the perimeter, Murray and Hunter. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Young in at the point. Yep, that one's good. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. This Hawks squad looking to get back to their winning ways. Had a stretch not long ago of 10 straight playoff appearances. Now here's Young. Back to Murray. Shoots. Porzingis grabs the board. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. Horford for three. The shot comes out. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Smitty with the Hawks. Can they get back to consistently competing for a championship, you think? B.A., it sure seems they've got the talent to do so. Good combination of young talent and wily vets. They did it in 2021, but can they do it again? Young. Second chance shot. And the finish inside by Capella. The muscle Capella brings packs a punch, especially when he's hitting the office of glass. Outside, Brown. Here's Tatum. Rebounded by the Hawks. Murray finds Young. Nails it from three. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Celtics have gone one for three so far. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Outside Tatum. Brown passes to Tatum. Six to shoot. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Now here's Young. Outside Hunter. Outside Murray. Pass to Young. Over Holiday. And it's Young again missing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Fader on the way. The shot by Holiday, no good. For Atlanta, they've gone two for five here in the first. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson yeah, and slams Johnson. it in. I mean, that's a nice find by Murray. He has a height to see the floor, and his awareness continues to grow. On the wing, Tatum. Pass to Horford. Back to Brown. The three. That one doesn't drop. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Hunter. Shoots off the step back. Horford pulls it in. Hunter against Tatum. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. With the skills of a guard, Tatum has the size of a power forward. It makes him so tough to stop inside. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Hunter. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Tatum with some nice D. Boston's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Young against Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Outside Holiday. Over Young. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Hawks have gone three of eight so far. Porzingis with the block. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. The shot by Holiday, no good. After he pulled off that rare crossover, he had nothing left for the finish. Here's Young. Hangs. And he lays it up and Young. in. Young's got five. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Pass to Tatum. It's Brown on the wing, defended by Murray. Murray against Brown. There's the triple. The rebound by the Hawks. 
Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Young can't hit. Austin trailing. Tatum passes to Holiday. Back to Tatum. Over Hunter. And it's Tatum missing. When you're that open, do you really need to go with the leader? And Clint Capella takes pride in his defense. He knows what he's on the floor for. He will never back down from a challenge. It doesn't take plays off. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need... Holiday against Young. Right side Brown. Outside Tatum. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on DeAndre Hunter. An ascending superstar, Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. Line for two shots. That free throw, no good. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise. It's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three-plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. You know, this Hawks team really does score the ball well. Lots of dynamic players on this team. And Young has made a huge difference in their production. Now here's Hunter. Young from long range. Sends it home from three-point land. Young's got eight. Because of the quick release, Trey Young needs only a sliver of room to get off his shot. Murray against Brown. It doesn't go for him. So Atlanta will take it the other way. So about Atlanta, just how far can this team make it? Well, B.A., there's no question they'll be efficient on the offensive end. But the question is, can they put everything else together and be a complete team? That'll ultimately be the difference. Now here's Murray. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Great positioning on the putback. Murray. Explosive athleticism. Murray usually showing it with the ball in his hands, but he can also just go get it. To the inside. Stolen by Young. Pass to Johnson. Back to Young. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Murray, no good. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. And here's Horford, covered by Johnson. Puts one up from 19. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Well, Horford isn't afraid to go old school and drop a shot there from mid-range. Atlanta calls timeout. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that, Grant? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active is here. Bay comes in for Johnson, and Bogdanovich is subbed in for Hunter. Capella has to Bay to the left wing. Brown against Murray. And there's Young. That's good. On the assist by Murray. Young's got 10. You have to admire Young's determination and toughness. He's not just a perimeter threat. Outside, Brown. It falls. He's now 2 of 5 from the field. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Young, the pass to Murray. Here's Bay. Pass to Young. Let's go with a three. Orford pulls it in. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. The Celtics making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. Blake Griffin. Brown against Murray. Young with it. Outside Bogdanovich. Second shot opportunity. 
And Capella gets it to go. And the Hawks lead by eight. Great inside play by Clint Capella, using all of his size to find that shot. Pass to Holiday. Now here's Griffin. Outside Tatum. Shot clock at six. No good with the triple. Atlanta's gone two of five from deep. Young against Holiday. And the slam dunk by Capella. They've played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Already ahead by double digits. Trying to run away and not look back. Now here's Holiday. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Capella with a block. What you like about Capella as a shot blocker is the patience. He waits until the shooter commits. Down low. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. And it's a 12-point Hawks lead. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. This is my type of approach. You get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Young against Holiday. Left side Murray. And it's going to be a three-second call. A three-second violation. A big group substitution here for Boston. Cornette's checked in for Porzingis. Hauser comes in for Jason Tatum. White, he's checked in for Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Akongwu's checked in for Atlanta. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now here's Griffin. From 12 feet. Pritchard, no good. And Atlanta shooting well so far at 48%. Young against Griffin. Young, the pass to Capella. On the wing, Bay. Just five to shoot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And Sadiq Bay on the 3 and D wing. And he has the strength to play up at the power forward spot, Greg. You know, B.A., that power forward spot might be his best position. And so Bay nails both of them. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Back to White. There's 57 seconds left in the first. The kick out to Griffin. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. It's a rough way to make a living, but somebody has to do it. Blake Griffin absorbing a lot of contact in the painted area. Young, the pass to Capella. Here's Bogdanovich. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Boston with a rebound. Oh, I don't believe that. He's better than that. Come on. Griffin passes to White. 15 seconds left to play in the first. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. A solid all-around kid with the size to work inside. Good play by Derek White. Derek White at the line for two shots. White hits them both. Outside Young with one on the clock. And that's not going to go. Rebounding. Converting a lot of those second chances. They've got Peyton Pritchard, Blake Griffin out there with Luke Cornett. Then it's Derek White, and it's Hauser in at the three. The small forward. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. 
Here's a Kongwu. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Five on the clock. A Kongwu. It's good on the yeah, putback. Okongwu. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Now here's White. Defense is right there. Here's Hauser. Misses the three. The Hawks shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Right side, Bogdanovich. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Here's White. From down in the low post, it goes. That shot takes touch, and it takes finesse. White continues to polish his craft. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, I mean, to get a shot like that on a drive, oh, it's those type of plays that will chip away at the lead. Now here's Griffin. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Bay. The Hawks need to get one up here. And it's in there. Quality pass from Sadiq Bay, recognizing the overcommitment and making the D pay for it. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Griffin. Beyond the arc. The shot no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Bay outside. Griffin pulls down the board. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Derek shows the ability to run the floor. His coaches will appreciate that effort. Pass to Matthews. Griffin outside. And here's Bay. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. The Hawks have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Bogdanovich, oh, that's good. Oh, Sneaky 6-6. Six, six. Much bogey in how he can orchestrate. He's an underrated playmaker, Grant. Yeah, B.A., the assist numbers don't jump out at you. But he has great core vision at all times. Runs the pick and roll well and is shifty in the paint. Now here's Brown. Rebounded by the Hawks. Murray's got four rebounds in the game. And there's the drive. Shoots over Brown. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Bogdanovich against Holiday. The shot misses. Johnson with the defensive effort. The Hawks have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Here's Murray. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. Left side Tatum. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Tatum's got five points now in the quarter. I love that play right there. You see the patience of Blake. Doesn't force anything. Just waits for his man to break free. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Hunters checked in for Atlanta. That was Celtics entertainment, everyone. The Hawks leading. Young against Holiday. Outside Murray. 
Outside Hunter. Six on the shot clock. Releases. Here's Capella. And the layup is good off the glass. Capella's got eight. I mean, he's ignoring the scoreboard. He just keeps coming at him. There's two things they rely on him for. Being competitive and bringing energy. Now here's Brown. Seven points in the game. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Boston with the ball. Griffin passes to Brown. Clock at six. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Hawks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And stolen by Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. What Young has on the floor is exceptional. He won't miss a guy who's that wide open. Here's Tatum. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. Tatum's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Offensive rebound. Here's Johnson. That one no good. And Boston going the other way now. Here's Brown for three. Rebound, Trey Young. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Now here's Hunter. Outside Murray. Just five on the clock. And the DeJounte Murray trade sort of came out of left field. It seemed mutual as the Spurs went to a younger direction and wanted Murray to play for a contender. The line trade where everyone involved gets a victory. The line for two. Might be the best bet to put up a quadruple double in the league one day. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. I love how DeJounte Murray plays with reckless abandon. He is fearless with his body, and that can often give him an edge against the deep. Now here's Murray. Only a second make in nine attempts. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Huh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. It's Brown on the wing, defended by Murray. Outside, Brown. Over Murray. No good, a bit long that time. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Pass to Young. Back to Hunter. From deep. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got his fourth assist in this one. A 42% three-point shooter in college. Hunter continues to shine beyond the arc. Now here's Horford. Here's Brown. Back to Horford. On the wing, Tatum. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Johnson with the defensive effort. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Now here's Brown. He has seven. Boston, no good that time either. Murray against Brown. They get it back. Here's Capella. Misses off the left iron. Pass to Brown. Shoots over Young. And so it's Atlanta liking their chance. Are any different from the first two? So far, it's been a runaway. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Quinn Snyder. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Johnson is out there with DeAndre Hunter. And it's Capella in at center. Holiday against Hunter. Back to Young. Jacks up a three. 
The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got six rebounds here tonight. And it's poor Zingas that time. All the assists from Tatum. From Jason Tatum's got three assists now in this one. Outside Young. Here's the teardrop. And Porzingis with the block. Up top, Tatum. Covered by Johnson. Horford outside. Rebounded by the Hawks. Johnson's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Hunter against Brown. Knocks it loose. Horford with a steal. Outside, Brown. And there it is for him. Brown's got nine points. Can't pin the blame on the defense. Sometimes Brown makes challenging shots right in your face. Young, the pass to Johnson. Now Murray, defended by Brown. Outside Young. To the paint. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Woo, the timing of Young's passes in pick and roll. Absolutely impeccable. For Boston, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Horford. Tatum way outside. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Hunter can't get it to go. The Celtics on offense. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Horford passes to Tatum. And he's at 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Growing into his role as a franchise player, Tatum with a huge game. It's been so much fun watching him tonight. Now here's Hunter. He has seven. Outside Young. Right side Murray. The three is up. They get it back. Here's Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. Hunter wanting to get his teammates involved. Capella against Horford. Pass to Porzingis. Over Johnson. And Porzingis gets it to go. On the assist by Horford. Seven points in the game. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out. His offense is there. Hunter passes to Murray. Here's Johnson. Horford covering. Inside. Hunter, good. And the Hawks lead by 16. A tough guy who doesn't mind mixing it up. Hunter can do a lot of damage in the paint. Pass to Tatum. Capella with a rebound. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Johnson. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Hunter. Rebound Boston. Holiday's got a rebound number five here tonight. Porzingis with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. And that one's good. Porzingis. I mean, a tremendous all-around talent. Drew Holiday keeping his eyes up and his options open. Back to Young. Over to the left wing. Tatum against Hunter. Six to shoot. Johnson passes to Young. Count that one. It's just Young. executing at a high level. I mean, Boston. taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And Boston calls time here. In the 2021 playoffs, Trey Young was unreal. 
leading the Atlanta Hawks to the Eastern Conference Finals. The first round series against the Knicks was memorable. Griffin, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Drew Holiday. Now here's Brown. He's got nine. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. Effort's been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. And Smitty, Trey Young in New York, electric against the Knicks. He was, B.A. He was taunting the crowd and the Mecca. We saw another level of Trey Young, the ability to be the man in a series, doing it on the biggest stage in New York City. And Bay pulls it down. The Hawks have gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. Tries to break his ice. Buries the jump shot. Bogdanovich has got eight points. The Celtics have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. It's Brown on the wing. Defended by Bogdanovich. The offensive rebound. And that one's good. Porzingis. I love whenever Porzingis hits the offensive boards. He has the height needed to hurt defenses in this regard. Pass to Bay. Shot, no good. Good D by Porzingis. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Now here's White. Back to Porzingis. That's basket number six in eight tries. Porzingis, one of the tallest guys in the league. Give Porzingis the ball there and just let him work. Pass to Okongwu. And here's Bogdanovich. Bay from long range. The rebound, Celtics. Griffin's got five rebounds in the game. Down low. Here's Porzingis. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. Bogdanovich on the wing. Back to Young. Let's it go from deep. The rebound, Celtics. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Chalk up two there. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. What I like during this run, they paid incredible attention to the details at both ends. That needs to continue. Atlanta calls time checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Hauser comes in for Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for Jalen Brown. Griffin, he's checked in for the Hawks. Matthews comes in for Trey Young. Now here's Griffin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for the Hawks. Wesley Matthews, two shots. And that's good as he hits both shots. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. To the left side wing. Griffin passes to White. Over to the wing. Here's Pritchard, defended by Bogdanovich. Here's Hauser. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Here's Matthews. That shot missing. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Here's Hauser. The kick out to White. Pass to Hauser. Bay against Griffin. From behind the arc. That shot off. The Hawks leading. Bay finds Bogdanovich. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Akangu inside. Working on Griffin. 
Here's Bogdanovich. Atlanta gets it back. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Here's White. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Love how active Derek White is on offense. Good at making defenders question their decisions. At the line for your Celtics. Derek White. At the line for... White hits them both. Bogdanovich with it. Give him eight. Three-pointer. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. Boston trailing. Griffin is out there with Luke Cornett. Then it's Derek White. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. And it's Hauser in at the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Hauser. Back to Pritchard. Pass to White. Pulls it in from the elbow. He's off on that one. So the Hawks will take it the other way. They led by as many as 18. Bogdanovich on the wing. Defended by Griffin. Blocked! Outside White. Here's Pritchard. Out to the wing. Outside White. And Bay pulls it down. The Hawks shooting 41% in this game. Pass to Bogdanovich. Bay right side. Shoots over White. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. One of that big frame. Sadiq is tough to guard in space. Steve Ball. At the line for the Hawks. Sadiq Bay. The line for two. That one misses. And the Celtics shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Tipped. Here's White. The shot from the low post is good. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Griffin outside. Back to Bogdanovich. Pass to Okongwu. Now here's Bogdanovich. Looking to get back on track. Griffin pulls down the board. For Boston, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's Hauser, defended by Griffin. White on the wing. Pass to Cornette. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Derek White is a combo guard who can get the ball to his teammates. Here's Matthews. Back to Bogdanovich. Bay outside. Now Griffin. Bogdanovich with it. Shot from 12. Boston with a rebound. Griffin's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. To the inside. White. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Oh, man. The defender really went after him. At the line for your Celtics. Derek White. At the line for... White hits them both. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Pass to Matthews. Here's a Kongwu. Defended by Porzingis. Here's Matthews. Atlanta again missing. This game is so close. One or two plays could make the difference. It's so imperative to try to make each trip count. Credit the hard work coming back. They're doing their best to steal this game. They've done a great job, but they're not done yet. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one can make a big difference. Pass to Okongwu. Bay right side. 
Shot clock at five. Griffin outside. To stop the drought. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Outside Tatum. To take the lead. And Bay pulls it down. Bay's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Griffin. Nice D from Tatum. For Boston, they've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Horford outside. Outside Tatum. And he banks in the layup. Tatum's got 24 points. The more strength Tatum puts on, the more effective he becomes, especially finishing through contact. Bogdanovich passes to Bay. Here's Matthews. Bay left side. Bogdanovich finds Griffin. Over Tatum. No good off the back of the rim. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Holiday. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Griffin outside. Here's Matthews. A shot to stop the drought. No luck on that one. Tatum with some nice D. Outside White. Tatum with it. Defended by Griffin. Tatum against Griffin. Atlanta with a rebound. Mays got five rebounds in the game. Kongwu with the bucket. And the Hawks lead by one. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Now here's Horford. Pass to White. All alone. Unable to get that one. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Bay. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Assist and it's a three-point Atlanta lead. Wesley. Smooth move by Sadiq Bay. Staying agile and getting past the defender. Outside Tatum. Horford for three. Akongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got a rebound number five here tonight. Holiday against Bogdanovich. Looking to get it going. And he lays it in. It's winning time. And that's a winning play. And for the Celtics, they're shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Bay against Horford. Back to Holiday. The rebound by Bogdanovich. And for Atlanta, they're shooting 27% here in the fourth. Here's Matthews, pounded by Tatum. Pass to Okongwu. Outside Bogdanovich. And the Hawks tack on two more. And they're putting together another quality possession, taking control of this game. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Now here's Tatum. Will it go? Okongwu with the rebound. Here's Matthews. Shoots over White. Here's a Kongwu. The shot off that time. And Boston going the other way now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. The Hawks leading. Griffin passes to Bay. Can't get it to fall. Boy, they're in a rough patch right now. <laughs> yeah, momentum is definitely not on their side. Pass to Horford. And here's Tatum. Shoots over Griffin. Austin again missing. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. 
Here's Bogdanovich. Yep, that one goes. Bogdanovich has got six points in the quarter. Just a natural born score. Bogdanovich takes the hit and makes the adjustment. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for White. And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. Johnson, he's checked in for Bay. Hunter comes in for Griffin. DeJounte Murray's checked in for Matthews. And it's Trey Young in for Bogdanovich. On the offensive end, Trey Young makes a huge impact. He can carry a team. Outside, Brown. Pass to Porzingis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line, Kristaps Porzingis. Flying for two shots. Free throw good from Porzingis. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They're on a 12 to 1 run. Murray. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Assisted. Young's got six assists in the game. Every time I see Murray, I'm reminded that he has a lot of moves around him. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He did everything he could to fire the team up, saying, quote, I don't care how far down we are. We can do this. Attack and take what's ours. Let's go out there and show them it's not over. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. Basket counts. On Yeka. Okongwu's got four points in the quarter. And when you're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game, you simply cannot allow second chances. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. 144 left to play in the fourth quarter. Pass to Johnson. Takes the three. Misfires there. Four for six in the game now. Murray against Brown. Good. Brown taking on all this kind of fearless approach is what his teammates and coaches love seeing. Outside Murray. Pass to Hunter. Back to Murray. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. And the Hawks lead by 14. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Hawks. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Trey Young. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They're on an 18-3 run. Pass to Hunter. Now Johnson to the middle. Here's Young. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Fearless attacking the heart of that defense. Young is willing to take punishment to get his points. Shooting for Atlanta. Trey Young taking two shots. The first one falls.
And both free throws good for Young. The confidence Trey Young plays with is really something. It helps him be such a thorn in the D side. Here's Holiday. Boston, no good that time either. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah. And this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Well, Trey, leadership is such a key part of the point guard position. What's your focus in living up to that? I'm a big guy and good in team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and um, I think that's where it starts is off the court, so that translates on. Bowling, that's something I haven't done in a while. Thanks for the inspiration. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. For Grand Hill, Allie LaForce and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you later.